Hey you guys, so to start off this look, I'm going to start with this orangey color from the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. Um, it's just a trio that I created that you can do um, when you pick up, I think it's three or more, you get like this free little case with it. So that's what I did, I got this orangey color because I really wanted to put like a warm color in the crease for this. So I'm just adding that with a blending brush um, because as you can tell the eye look that I'm going for is very warm. So, And it's a nice transition color as well. And then next I'm going to be jumping into the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette and I'm going to be using the color Melon to just kind of buff out those outer edges. Um, because of course we don't want any harsh lines. I feel like I always say that in every single video. But seriously, nobody wants harsh lines so we just want to blend that out and that's what I'm doing with this blending brush. And then next, I'm going to be using this color Weenie from, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's from um, Kathleen Light's collection with ColourPop. I'm obsessed with her and anything she ever comes out with, so I always get my hands on it. This color is such a beautiful rose gold color. It works perfect with you when you use your finger versus using a brush. So definitely recommend that tip um, when you apply these um, ColourPop eyeshadows. And then next, I'm also using this from her collection. This is the color Porter, which she named after her little dog. Um, but yeah, I'm just creating like a V shape and putting that on the outer edges using just like a pencil brush. Um, I know I said using your fingers is a little bit better, but I kind of just wanted a little more of a precise um, application on me, my outer edges. And if I use my finger, of course, it's not going to be as precise. So I'm just going to be blending it out and as you can see like they're very easy to blend um, especially these ones I've noticed. So I'm just blending that out and then using the color this isn't part of her collection but this is from ColourPop as well and it's the color Mittens. I'm just applying that with a more precise pencil brush on my outer edges because I kind of want to like make it into like a chocolatey like raspberry look I don't know but it looked really pretty so I'm just like to deepen out the outer edges so you just want to blend it out and then using this wet and wild mega eyeliner I'm just gonna apply this my eyeliner I put this in super fast motion because of course this is so boring so repetitive you guys see this all the time I'm just doing my classic wing eyeliner with one of my favorite liquid eyeliners and then next I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation you girls know this this is my go-to foundation for oily skin like I have super super oily skin so I definitely have to go with something that's gonna keep me matte all day and I'm starting to notice that this really works on my skin as of now at least I think before I might have said that I didn't wasn't too crazy about it but I just I've been obsessed with it lately it's very full coverage that's what I love about it and then I'm gonna be going with this bare minerals bare skin concealer I'm just gonna apply it underneath of my eyes and like that typical triangular shape because I want to brighten up underneath my eyes, especially since I have so much color going on on my eyes. I just want it, and it's going to be kind of like a smoky eye-ish. No, well, not really, but it's just like, you know, it has a lot of like deep colors in the outer edges. So I just want to brighten up my eyes. So I'm just going with a beauty blender and just blending that out because it gives you like a flawless finish when you use a beauty blender. You guys know I'm obsessed with my beauty blenders, so definitely have to use that. And then to set my foundation and my concealer, I'm going to be baking. I've been obsessed with this method as well. And I'm just going to apply it with a dry beauty blender underneath my eyes and just kind of cake on the powder and let it sit there for a little bit as I um, set the rest of my face. And I'm just using a blush brush from um, e.l.f. I'm just going to be setting my T-zone and wherever I get oily the most, which is pretty much all around my forehead, my nose, my chin, and all that. So... And then next I'm going to be using this Laura, Laura Geller bronzer. It's a really nice, pretty, like, um, matte bronzer. It's kind of, like, on the cool, so cool tone side, but it doesn't look muddy. So it's really weird because usually you have to be careful with cool tone bronzers. They'll make you look super muddy, but this one doesn't. I'm obsessed with this, like bronzer it's like a hidden gem almost because i don't see a lot of people talk about this but it's a really good bronzer and then next i'm going to be going with this becca song bird blush it's a beautiful like orangey blush i'm obsessed it just makes the face like look so warm and it's just a really really nice blush i'm obsessed with the B becca 
blushes. I feel like I've said obsessed so many times. But I'm just I just love her products. They're really, really good. And then I'm gonna be going with a sippling brush and just blending that all out because sometimes I can go a little overboard with a blush, so I just need to dust some of that off. And I'm also gonna be dusting off the powder underneath my eyes from the baking. And then next I'm gonna be going with this roller lash mascara from Benefit and just apply that to my top lashes, a couple coats, um, because I'm I don't really use falsies on a daily, so <laughs> I just like to use my natural lashes. I mean they're pretty they're pretty long, so I don't really need falsies. So I'm just applying some of that and I, I do believe that they do this mascara does curl your lashes a little bit, so that's a good thing. And then to line my uh, waterline, I'm going to be using this mitten color from ColourPop as well. Um, and I'm just going to be lying, lining my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to buff it out with this color porter from Kathleen's collection. Just so that it kind of has like a, some smokiness to it. Um, because it's a Valentine's Day look and so you want to look good for your Valentine Day. <laughs> and then I'm going to be putting on some of this Inglot eyeliner in the color. It's like in the color, in a brown color. I don't know the exact number, but I'll list it down below. And I'm just using a brush, like an angled brush to line my waterline with that. Um, I know it's kind of out of frame, so sorry about that. And then I'm going back with a couple coats of mascara um, just for my top lashes and my lower lashes because, you know, I always have to finish it off with um, mascara on my lower lashes. So, yeah. And then to go back to my cheeks, I'm going to highlight the face. So I'm going to be using this Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. It's an amazing gold highlighter. My camera doesn't pick it up as well, but it's a beautiful color. And then next I'm going to be going with this Milani Nude Matte Lipstick. These nude matte, or this matte lipstick from Milani is amazing. It's an amaz amazing quality and it's not like drying on the lips, which is really good. But I wanted to go for a glossy look, so then I'm going to apply this um, Sephora lip gloss in the color Nude Perfect, I think it was. So yeah, that's it for my video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave any comments you have down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And happy Valentine's Day, you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful one. Until next time. Bye, guys.